We have long dreamed about setting foot on Mars. This is the proudest day of my life. Television pictures would arrive back on Earth 20 minutes later. It feels really strange walking, doesn't it? The landscape has a similarity to the scenery back home. And the water-eroded hills suggest that Mars has a captivating story to tell. Almost four billion years ago, Mars and Earth were nearly twins. Both were warm and wet. But for reasons unknown, Mars rapidly became cold and dry. The Explorer 1 crew would land in one of the great river valleys where water was abundant during Mars' warmer days. A manned mission would hope to learn whether life got a foothold on Mars before conditions became so extreme and whether life still exists beneath the surface today. But the crew's first priority would be to confirm that the return spacecraft that fueled itself from the Martian atmosphere was still in good shape for their journey home. They would also set up a series of weather stations to avoid being caught off guard by a Martian windstorm, which can gust up to 80 miles an hour. Only then would astronauts drill into the frozen floor of an ancient riverbed, searching for minerals, water, and evidence of life. The possibility of finding some ancient form of fossilized life was some anaerobic life, that is, life that doesn't depend on oxygen living under the land on Mars, would be stunning. Because on this planet, we've all looked up at the sky and wondered, are we alone, are we unique? Is life unique of any form, however complex or lowly, carbon-based or not? Is life unique to planet 